this mentality of like I want to work, I want to work. Like you know, I I I think I've just been auditioning for so long, and I got pretty decent at it. Yeah. You know, and so like now it's so strange. Sometimes I'll get sent out on an audition, and I'm like. Oh, I feel a little rusty. I'm like this, is, but it's like a good thing because I have a job. But on the other end, you're like, how long will my job last? <laughs> know. You know, we're I constantly know. worried yeah, sure. about the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's weird. <laughs> and t- and th- this is a place where you can get very easily comfortable totally. in not having to worry about yeah, that. Yeah, totally. And so, like, and there's something you know, you w- once you get a job, you want to enjoy it, right? So then you yeah. start like, so when sometimes when an audition comes up, you're like, oh man. Like used to, it used to be audition awesome. Yeah. Now it's audition. Oh man, I. It's I, a weird thing. Yeah, it's it a weird thing because it robs you of living in the moment. Yeah. Yes. You know what I mean? In yeah. a weird totally. way, it robs you of living in the moment. Moment because you're like, okay, am I going to get the job? Okay, I got it. Usually it's after four or five auditions, and by that time you're like, okay, I got it. Yeah. Right. Well, I can't say anything until I get it. Yeah. I got it. Okay, now you show up and you do it and it's done. Yeah. But you'd kind of enjoy the the moment of the day, but then you're on to the next, like, yeah. where's my next audition? What's the next yeah. thing? Yeah, right. it's, it's such kinda... an interesting world that us is. actors have it to is. exist in, especially when yeah. you're, like, testing for something. I mean, I don't think people understand the process of testing, but, like, you're signing contracts. You're like, oh, I got to move to Vancouver next I week know. if I book this. I I'm going to be making this amount for the next five years. And then within minutes, it's, it's like, oh, they actually decided to go with so-and-so. And yeah, you're like, poof. Oh. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, Back it, to it, the it, bar. It, yeah. That's that's why I drink. I mean, right? I mean. Yeah, I drink because I have kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I drink twice the amount. <laughs> I can attest to actor that. Actor with kids. <laughs> I'm an actor and I have kids. But that's that's why. Equals like, alcoholism. We, we talk a lot on, 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 on this show about. You know what else do you have, and not because you need something else. Yeah. It's not that, not that. But like, what you, is there anything else in your life that it, that you're passionate about, or something that helps you remain positive, that helps you kind of steer clear through, like navigate the peaks and valleys of what we do? Um, it, and you know, you're super young, so you might not. But is, is there yeah. something? Well, you know, it's funny. That's actually something that's been coming up for me more as of the past couple of months. Mm-hmm. Because the great thing with GH is like there are some weeks where you work like every day for two weeks. And then it's like three weeks of – like, you know what I mean? You're yeah. not working really yes. for three weeks because right. your story is not really what's going on right now. And so during that time, you know, being someone who is constantly auditioning, constantly tr- like tr- in the hustle – there's not as much hustle now, you right. know, because my reps are like, I don't even know if you could do most of the stuff that we, sure. you know, sure. try to get you out for. So there's um, a bit of silence yeah. in between those shooting periods, and they've kind of been driving me nutty. I bet. And so I've been like, <laughs> you know, you come to our house, and like, I, I used to paint when I was in high school and stuff. So I'm like, back, you see all these like half finished paintings <laughs> in Chris and I's condo, and like, I've been reading a lot. I'm just trying to find inspiration from other places. Yeah. And I've even kind of been trying to research some, like, animal shelters and stuff that I can maybe get into. I, I'm a huge animal advocate. I love yeah. them to death. Yeah. And uh, Chris won't allow us to get another dog until we move into a house. <laughs> right. So I'm trying to find other ways to, like, use that energy of loving yeah, animals. And it's So, yeah, way. I'm kind of, like, figuring, figuring it out. out. Yeah. yeah. But I'm definitely in the, the thick of, like, exploring it for sure. Yeah, there is something about that those that time off when you have a job where you're like, Oh, well, I don't need to worry about anything because I have a job. So then what do I do? Yeah. uh... Uh, Yeah. Yeah. So that that and, you know, when we haven't always had those long breaks. um, So, yeah, that's a a, is that a newer kind of evolution of the show? Yeah. I mean, fairly new. Okay. Um, And we fill them to the brim now, our dark weeks, because we go off and tour and stuff. Yeah. Um, So. But uh, but that's you know kind of along your que- your question to her, it's how we can still be creative totally. without having to wait for someone else to say yes. hey be creative yes so so we can create our own show which we have which has been amazing because it's you know we've done things outside of our comfort zone we've yeah. had to write a ninety minute show we had to I mean it's just been it's brave it's been great it's, it's been amazing for yeah. us. And just create, uh, you know, from the creative side, it's just been so, it's been fulfilling. It's yeah. You know, and just, and honestly, sitting down doing this yeah. has has helped us so much because yeah. it's fun for us. Totally. And it's fun to get to yeah. know everybody on a whole different level and let the fans see the real person. Totally. Because a lot of times they can't 
some people can't well, there's separate no, it. Separate it. But yeah. and, and there's no other format that exists in where you can have this kind of you know it's not a five minute clip it's not a a two-page spread it's not you know what i mean it's like so we can really talk and 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 let it go where it goes yeah Yeah. absolutely which i think is great because you're allowing fans to fall in love or to to be like oh wow that person's totally different than i expected them to be Mm -hmm. you know because people do think that we are the people on this show sometimes Uh, yes you know i'll meet people at fan events and they're like wow you're so nice (laughs) and i'm like thank you (laughs) yeah well the, the, I'm nice on camera too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Steve gets is, oh, you smile. Yes. Yeah. And yes. oh, you laugh. Yes. Oh, you, you know. So um. Oh, your hair's the same. <laughs> so yeah. is your t-shirt. But other than that, you're completely different. <laughs> exactly. I, I pretty totally. much come right in at expectations. Yeah. I you're, think. yeah. Oh, you're just like Spinelli. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> Um, shooting higher next time. Yeah. I got to say, though, the, the best thing that's ever been said to me that happens all the time is like, oh, you're actually not bad looking. Um, oh, my in, in, God. In, in real life. In real life, they're like, oh, wow, you're so like, wow, so you're much better looking than on television. Don't it's you like, love when people say you're like, oh, because, you know, it's supposed say. to meant to it's supposedly a compliment. Yeah. But. The, the inverse is like, oh, wow, do I look really <laughs> What do I look on like on TV? Yeah. yeah. A couple people told me when I met them, they were like, wow, you're not that tall. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're so much thinner in real life. And I was like, oh, oh. Th- 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 thanks. <laughs> Guess I'll talk to Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean the costume. Yeah. Yeah. See yes. what's going on. Uh, so well, it is a delight to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Aww, thanks, and I got to just say one thing because she was thrown into the fire. Such a hard worker. Oh, thanks. That Steve. goes a long way. Such a hard worker. Thank yeah. you. you, you I, I can just see you in the hallways working. You're always always focused on your job which is mm. amazing and i know you've only been here eight months but just keep that up because that goes a long way because people yes. notice that yeah you know and especially how fast we go and you know you just don't want to people don't you don't want to take time up yeah. if you yeah. don't have to yeah. there's always time to take time yeah. when you need the if time need and it. frank will give you that time totally always will um but you're such a joy to work with you're Thank professional you. You're awesome, and you're so such a great positive energy, which is always needed anywhere. Thank you. So thank that you. That really so means much. a lot to me. I really it appreciate means a lot you guys to, that you did this. We appreciate it yes. too. Yeah. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. You're awesome. Yes, yes. that's awesome. <laughs> 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 That was a, <laughs> just made me a little a little dizzy there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, man. I just want to throw some throw some physicality into it. Yeah. Um, hey, Rick, that was all. I like your neck. I I love Brianna. She's awesome, man. Oh, uh, she's so sweet, dude. Such a sweet person. Totally, so and cool. so doing cool. a great job with the recast. That's not ah, uh, yeah, easy, but making her own and doing awesome. She's doing great, man. It is. It is funny though. She's like, it was funny when uh, I was I was editing it, and I and you know we were talking about you know that she was born in 1992 and uh <laughs> so things that that uh, that reminds me of how old we are specifically uh, you i might have um, i might have uh t-shirts older than her that's right yes and, that's uh, amazing and that's really depressing too so yeah right i'm gonna be right back i'm gonna go drink thank but you it's all, but like I, when i was when i was her age there's no way i would have the command oh to, no way like she just has a she has just such like a power to totally. her that she, transcends age you know what i mean just got yeah, presence, she, a strong presence. She does. She has a, a for a young, young, young woman. Yeah. She has a, uh, she seems very confident and strong. Totally. Um, but so sweet too. You yeah. know what I mean? I think it's, sure. I think that's an incredible balance that you can be this confident, strong woman, but also be so sweet. Yeah. That's great. amazing. She's so, doing something right. Well done. So Brianna, thank you for, for doing the podcast. Sit, sitting down with us. Yeah. That's um, right. So uh, speaking of, uh, people sitting down with us on our podcast um we have a, a tweet this week oh. um i'm bringing back the mean tweets at least for this week oh yeah um, you know sometimes sometimes there's just no no good ones that pop up this one i liked this mm-hmm. one was a good one um so this is in response to people wanting a specific actress to come on our podcast and as anybody that listens to our podcast realizes we don't uh we don't use a booker we the only me- the only mechanism we have is going in Steve's dressing room. When we're ready to record, we open the door, peek our head outside the door, and see who's see who's out there. Pretty um, much, yeah. There, there is no grand plan. There is no prejudice. There is no. And we and we have been turned down multiple times, by the way, just because of people's timing. 
Yes. Right? And that and that's really it because everybody yeah. wants to do the podcast. We hope. <laughs> we hope. I, I think I think ninety nine percent would do it. Right. I don't know who the one percent isn't, but sure. Um, you know, it's always been a time issue because we're always so last minute. Yeah. You know, doing the podcast sometimes, and I'm like, hey, can you do it? And like, uh, no, I'm leaving. Right. Like, right. I have a so life, but maybe maybe congrats that's to you guys for not having one, and you can yeah. stay here all day. Yeah. Great. Um. Okay, so this is someone saying, uh, gosh, I hope so-and-so does the podcast. And this person, um, I'm not sure if this is a n- name. Oh, I think it is. And I think it, it, they're, a frizz, they're a Frizz fan. And so I think, that, I think I know what that means. Um, so anyway, this person says, hopefully never. Those two immature idiots act like Beavis and Butthead trying to, re- <laughs> trying to relive their past. Thank God she's never gone on that ridiculous show. She she has class and self respect. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. So uh, I, I get it. Hold on. I got to give credit though for the Beavis and Butthead thing. That's funny. Well, it's it, it's not that, that's it's not, funny. not too far from the truth, really. No, no, that's stuff. Well, that's funny. Well, and but, think think of it like I, you know, I, I don't know my hair. Because Beavis and Butthead both had high hair, and yeah, you, know, you clear- I would be, I would be more Beavis. You'd you be think so? Head. Yeah, you'd yeah, be. You know, you're right because my head, because he would yeah. comb it back, and it would kind of like mull yeah, it on the end. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, now yeah. we're now we're reliving the past, reliving the past right there. Yeah, yeah. But that we're not reliving any past, ma'am. I feel very, I feel very much in the present. We are very in the present. That's what makes that's what makes this fun. Well, you know what? This has been an interesting experience for me because, you know, like when we used to travel together and there was something about, you know, just, just, just being silly all the time, just being kind of goofy. And yes, there's still that, there's still that element to what I do, I guess, but I I feel very, I feel very much myself as a person that's almost 40 and it's kind of cool. And part of it has been hanging out with you and like, just, I exceed like having fun with my own personality. So right, thank you. Right. Oh, thank you, Bradford. That's very sweet of you. I just think, dude, you know, we're at a time uh, where we're doing this podcast. We're doing the shows on the road. Um, we're collaborating a lot. Yeah. You know, we talk a lot about life, about entertainment, about what we're doing. And I think it's just, I don't know, hopefully we're getting better as, as people. Yeah. First and foremost, and then hopefully we're getting better um, doing what we do. You know, sure. obviously the podcast is is uh, it, there's a learning curve, and I and I hope I hope <laughs> our I hope our guests because you know uh, kind of off the pod people have you know we're like hey you guys did a really good job and you guys ask great questions and it's a lot of fun and the hour goes by real quick and that's what we hope. Um, but you know, I think, dude, it's been so much fun doing these road shows. I mean, it's so much fun. Yeah, I can't wait to go. Yeah, it's like I can't wait. Well, and we we're... work on it, and we work on it a lot too. That's, you know? that's true too. Yeah. Well, because I mean, today is uh, this is this is coming out tomorrow or this week Wednesday, and uh, we're getting on a plane on Monday to fly to Pittsburgh. So we're on yeah. the you know right on the precipice of another week away, and yeah. Uh, talking about before we started recording how excited we are so yeah it's we're excited because we're doing we're doing some new cities you know yeah. pittsburgh uh we've done pittsburgh before but it was wow. two years two years ago pretty much yeah um philly great it's already sold out which is amazing boston's like super close to being sold out springfield is sold out yeah um uh, we got rockwell's we're two tickets away from a sellout there right. And we get to go uh, eat steak in Niagara Falls, so that's cool too. And then we get to eat a steak in Niagara Falls. And, and I will. And Ruth's Chris, they like they put it in that that bath of butter, herbed butter. Oh, dude, it's gonna be so good. Please, look awesome. if you if you live in Canada or Rochester, or Syracuse, you can go up to to Niagara Falls yeah. very easily. Eat some meat um, with us. Check out StoneColdTheJackal dot com for and, those dates. And but. if you don't eat meat, I'm sure they have great vegetables. Steakhouses are – my wife's a vegetarian. She loves steakhouses because you can get a great baked potato and some vegetables. Don't they usually have like a fish? Oh. Well, she doesn't eat fish either. Yeah, nothing. But, okay. Yeah. But All if right. you – yeah. Anyway, there's something for everybody. Yeah, I should probably know what a vegetarian is. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I was listening. And we have a question. So yes. anyway, thank you for that mean tweet. Um I, thank you. you know what? And, uh, I, I, we'll be having Becky on very soon. Thank you. I, I don't think I don't think she actually listens to the podcast because I we're no. talking we're talking about people's humanity. We're talking about people's passion. We're talking about we're talking about yeah we have a lot of fun, 
but uh, we take it pretty seriously. And uh, I did get a yes from Roger though over the weekend. Oh, great! Yeah, so Roger will be joining us at some point. Oh, right. So that because I think the the frizz is Franco and Liz, right? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So we we did our Vegas thing. It was great. Oh, was, yeah. Uh, Roger, Laura, Michael. We had a great time. Great turnout. And uh, I was talking to Roger, and he's like, "Yeah, I'd love to do it." So awesome, cool, nice. Well, we had Michael on, so. Uh, the old, the old Michael, Michael and Roger Mc, McBain. Duo. Yeah, we can we can cross the duo off the list. Yes, for sure. Um, so the question is from Jenna, and yep. you know we talked about um, we t- last week we had a question about babies and how what it was like having babies as as people in real life in real life and having babies on the show and what that was like. So this kind of is is in line with that. Um, she she said she she knows that we don't do much blocking or rehearsing. Mm-hmm. She was wondering, is there an exception when little kids are involved? And also, um, you know, when we have to say weird things about like mommy's sick or mommy sure, has to go, sure. and like you're saying, or, it's or mommy weird. or mommy's dead, right? One of those <laughs> things. Um, <laughs> so, so do we have more rehearsal when there's kids on stage? And is there any talk of like? Um, making sure they understand that this is pretend, I guess, is maybe the best way to frame it. Well, I mean, I guess to there's not a lot of young I, – I haven't worked with any real young kids at this point, you know, right. three, three to five years old. I, I wouldn't love to say that to, to a three to five-year-old oh. actor or act, little actress. Um, you know, like the, the, other, the older kids, they get it. They know sure. what they're doing. They've been doing it for a long time. So there's no really extra rehearsal. Uh, but it's an interesting question because that's always like, you know, with these child actors and actresses, does it affect them at a young age? You know what I mean? It's yeah. like as much as, you know, because I, I took Brooklyn to work, right? And uh, she went on stage and she she was like, oh, I want to be on TV. I go, no. oh, oh, what? No. She goes, yeah, I want to be on TV. I go, will you will you talk? She goes, no. I said, okay, great. Right. So the next day she goes, okay, dad, I'll talk. Oh, no. So I said, I don't know. But I picture her because she loves entertaining, right? She right. loves dancing and entertaining. And But I'm like, man, I, how do you have a scene where somebody's crying like, and saying stuff like your mom passed away and she was a great lady? And, and you know what I mean? It's like I, that's hard for me to even fathom. Well, I remember, I remember um, when I first started and you, we were chasing Diego and he had kidnapped – Little Christina. This was before Christina got sore assed. Um, yeah. So you, still, yeah. You better yeah. say what that means yeah. before. Be- before she had the soap opera rapid age syndrome. So she's yes. still a little girl. I, I forget what her name was. Um, she was so she was so sweet though. The the little Christina. Um, and and I remember what they did though because it was it was it was violence too, right? Like there was. People, yeah, I mean that's another get, thing. Sure. There was people getting shot. Their stuff was kind of really segmented. Yeah, there was, a, there was this thing where she had to run from this from this open door across the whole stage, and it was a bigger stage because it was like a warehouse, and had to run to Kelly. Yeah, and I think they did that individually, so she wasn't a part of the whole scene. So there there are certain things they can do to to you know make sure the kids aren't involved in something that is either dangerous or yeah. They, I mean, they definitely think about it, of course. Sure, yeah. Right? If they could, if they could segment it like that, they will. If they can't, then you can't. Right. And you know that's that's how the that's how the cookie crumbles, I guess. But yeah, it's a, it's a tough one, man. It, well, you know the the weird the, the you know sometimes babies get hired to cry right and and you and so they want not necessarily in our show but like you see it in commercials and you see it and like god that's a you know it's uh but do they do they get hired to they get hired to cry but you know it's like because they don't they don't do these little tricks on our show okay no 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 because they're hoping the baby never cries well sure (laughs) right because we got to shoot the scene and we don't want a baby cry and right. if it's usually crying, it's always a sound effect off camera. Totally. Yeah. See, but the old, like the old Holly, Hollywood tricks would be you give the baby something that they love, and then right before you start filming, you, you take, take it, it away. away. <laughs> Isn't it horrible? That's horrible, man. That's horrible. <laughs> That's what I do with you before the show. I take your drink away. I know. And then I get just, very sad. I get very sad, but very eager. And, and I just like, it the whole and show. And you're like, I'm not going on until I have this. Oh, man. Yeah. It's no, such a diva now. It's unbelievable. Uh, kids in show business. Tough. I know. It's a tough one. Good question, though. But uh, thank you, Jennifer, for your question. Uh, thank you, Brianna, again, for joining us. Thank you. Yep. 
Steve, for hanging out with me again this week. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who's uh, listening to the podcast and supporting us. We're so uh, grateful to you guys for just to be able to do this and go out on the road and meet people and have fun and laugh. I mean, yeah. that's just really what we love doing. You know, it's, we laugh and listening to Bradford sing, which is going to be amazing. That is fun. We have a little, a new little act. Oh, we got, we, act we got new stuff. Oh, it's so yeah, exciting. We're going to test out. Yeah. Test uh, out. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. We, we have, uh, we're playing, we're playing a show next week at a place that we've played a lot. So we always have to come up with new stuff and we, yes. we've got some new stuff. Yeah. It's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, buddy. So, all right. Well, all right, uh, we'll, we'll be talking to y'all soon and Steve, I'll talk to you in like five minutes. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> Every car comes with its share of stories. That ding in your bumper when you nervously picked up a first date, the luxury package you got after a big promotion, or just the mileage you saved by riding your bike all summer. While you can't put a price tag on your stories, now with True Car, you can at least find out what your car's worth when it's time to sell it or trade it in. Just go to True Car. Simply enter your license plate number and watch how your car's details pop up. Then answer a few questions. Navigation and moonroof? Watch as they bump up your value. High mileage? You already knew it was going to cost you, but now you know how much it dings your wallet so you can plan ahead. And once you're finished, you'll get a true cash offer sent in minutes, which you can take to a local certified dealer to cash out or trade in. So when you're ready to experience a better way to sell or trade in your car, check out True Car today. True cash offer not available in all areas. Pluto TV is the leading free streaming television service. It's easy and completely legal. And yes, you can watch your favorite TV shows and hit movies for free. I know you love that. We'll watch over 100 TV channels and thousands of movies on demand, all completely free. Pluto TV, never ask for a credit card. You don't even need to sign up. You can download Pluto TV on all your favorite devices, including your iPhone, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Smart TVs, PlayStation, and anywhere else you stream. So what are you waiting for? I got no idea. Never pay for TV again by downloading Pluto TV. There's a lot going on in the world right now, and the skim is here to help you cut through the noise. Meet Skim This, a weekly podcast that makes it easier to understand how the news impacts you. We break down the most complicated stories of the week and add context and clarity to answer the questions that are on your mind. Subscribe and listen every Friday morning wherever you get your podcasts.